All right, this is Symphony Map. This is the uh, beginning web page. What you do is type in www.symphonylearning.com. <coughs> okay, when you're done, go to Student Program, click on it, uh, download it if you got a Mac, download it if you have a Windows XP 2000 Vista Windows 7. And all you got to do after you're done is click on it, double click it, and it'll bring up the install screen. It takes about two, three minutes. Um, when you're done, okay, with that, go back. Click on the program. It'll click be, there will be an icon on the desktop. And what you need to do is click on Symphony Math. Just open it up. And it'll take you to the beginning of the program right here. Uh, what you need to do when you're done, you already have the students have a passcode. Uh, they have the school code and they have a password. We already remember this from at the beginning of the year. Click on Home right here. Uh, it's not going to save. This is just for practice. So your student account is 2064. I'm going to I'm a teacher so I don't have one, but I'm going to use Alyssa's because Alyssa Bryant said I can use it. So that's hers and hers is passcode is this. I'm not going to tell you. And I can log in. And when I log in, it should take me to stage 1. <clears throat> if I remember right. Hold on here. It's checking the information and all the data taking a lot longer than what I was hoping for here could not be saved could not be saved probably because you do not have permission to change files on this computer settings will okay okay mm -hmm. and it'll log me in here we go um so this is probably uh, gonna it should be on stage one because when you do it at home, everything starts over. It doesn't save anything. When you're at school, I think she's probably on. She's probably working through the stages. So she's on. Oh, she's on stage four. Um, so that's fine. No big deal. It ain't. It doesn't save. So she'll just start off where she left off. So I could go, and it'll bring up the beginning of stage four. This is all interactive. It's a nice little game to play. Uh, up here you have the four task bar for stage five. four. This Equals is the uh, questions that they answer. It'll go red if you get them wrong, and it'll go green if you get it right. They talk. They explain what's going on. So these are the bars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up the bars. Uh, not exactly sure what they're asking here. I'm going to go with five. Um, I'm going to go with probably, well, not that, that one. Probably go with... A big blue one here. No, let's try nine. Go with nine, and I'll go with one. No idea. The numbers and the bars do not match. Okay, this numbers number and the bars must be the same as this bar. Okay, see, so now this one has to be four. So I will take this bar, make it four. I will take. This bar make it five, and this bar will probably have to be five too. The numbers and the bars nope. do not match. Numbers this and bars number do not must match. Must be the same as these bars. Here is the correct solution. See, Four so it takes you through it if you get it wrong, and shows you how to do it. Nine. All right. So now up here it's orange or red, whatever you want to look at. So that means I would have to redo that later on. Um, now, if I need help, it'll read it to you. Here's a read balloon. Make a number sentence that describes this story. Click this button to hear the story. So here we go. Oops. Oh, it's giving me details. Uh, I gotta click Lisa it. Lisa is 12 years old. She is 2 years older than Javier. How old is Javier? Okay, so this is a word problem. So Lisa is 12 years old, of course. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say Lisa's 12 years old. She is 2 years older than Javier. So 2 is going to equal 10. So my answer should be 12 minus 2 equals 10. 12 minus 2 equals 10. And they use the bars for visual... Okay, so that means I have went to two problems. Okay, I got one right. 
Now, if I want to keep going, it'll. Donald I can read scored. it over again. Donald scored two okay. goals. Um. So How now Donald scored two goals. He need in order to have scored seven goals. Plus that equals two plus five equals seven, and then two boom. Plus five equals seven. So this program gives you more concepts and more ideas on how to work through it. When okay. you take away the bar you place here from the bar or bars you place here, you must have this bar left over. So if I take this bar and I subtract this bar, it should come up close to it. If you take this bar away from these bars, this bar will not be left. Okay, see, so that's wrong. They'll give me another chance. I'll try this bar, and I'll take this bar. If you want to, if you take this bar away from these bars, this bar will Ooh, not be left. Here's I'm completely wrong. Solution. Good. Can you find another one? Okay. So that's how the program works. It's all interactive. It's all. Uh, it's all computer-based, web-based, everything like that. There's games also. If I keep going, it takes actually a long time. If I keep going, there's actually games on here that represent um, like the end of the stage, and they're interactive games. So they're all computer-like uh, little space blaster and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I'm going to exit out of this. Very easy to log on, very easy to get out. Um, once it's downloaded, all you got to do is click on the icon, type in the password, the passcode, and boom, you're ready to go. Any other questions, um, just email me and let me know what you think. All right, thank you. Bye.